Hey guys, it's Brave and Maths Teacher here today, Paul, and you're tuning into Paul's Maths Labs. And today again, we're going to be looking at division using bus stop method, but this time with remainders. Okay, so without further ado, let us get the show running. Woo, okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is your line just to divide my places and scroll down a little bit. Okay, so just that, so you guys remember again. Um, so, for example, 125 over 5 is also the same as 125 divided by 5, okay? So that's why I put the two of them here, just so that you know that they both basically mean the same thing, okay? They both mean the same thing, okay? But let's get started anyway. So we've got 5 on the outside and 125 on the inside, okay? So we say how many 5s go into 1? We can't do that. Well, 0. Remainder what? Remainder 1. So we put the 1 there beside the 12. How many 5s go into 12? Well, 2. Remainder what? Remainder 2. So we put the 2 beside the 5 here. So that now becomes 25. So that's meant to be a 2. So how many 5s go into 25? Well, 5. Remainder what? Remainder 0. Lovely. Okay, so we got to the end. Just so you know, if there's a 0 in front of any numbers, if there is no decimal points, you can ignore the zero okay so the answer is 25 not um zero two five the answer is just 25 okay guys not that there's anything wrong in putting zero two five because zero two five still means 25 but anyway let's jump into the next one so we've got 148 divided by four okay one four eight so how many fours go into one well zero so remainder what? Remainder 1. So the 1 is still remaining, so it goes beside the 4. So how many 4s go into now? 14. Well, 4, 8, 12. So if we got 3, remainder what? Remainder 2. The 2 goes beside the 8 there. So how many 4s go into 28? Well, let's see. We've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So we've got 7. Okay. Remainder what? Remainder 0. And there's no other number there. Okay. So 148 divided by 4 is going to give us 37. Lovely. Now let's go on to the next one. Again, we've got 4 and we've got 256. So how many 4s go into 2? Well, 0. Remainder what? Remainder 2. So that now becomes 25. How many 4s go into 25? So let's find out. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So we've got six, remainder one, okay? Now, how many fours go into 16? Well, four, remainder zero, and that's it. 100, 256 divided by four gives us eight, gives us 64, okay? Now, for the last question, let's do that one. So we've got six, and we've got four, six, eight. How many sixes go into four, zero, Remainder what? Remainder 4 still. So you put the 4 beside the 6. So that now becomes a 46. How many 6s go into 46? Now, that's 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. So that is 7. And remainder what? Remainder 4. Okay. And we say how many 6s go into 48? And it is actually eight. Okay. So guys, the answer. So guys, um, as you've seen, um, again, division with the bus stop method, even when we do have some remainders at times, isn't still isn't too bad. Okay. So um, there is um, another level to this, uh, especially when we have um, decimals, which I will go through in the future. But for now. Um, this is what we've got. So I hope you guys now know how to divide numbers by numbers using the Boston method. And even when it involves a little bit of um, remainders within um, your working out, etc. So guys, thanks for tuning to Pause Maths Labs and I'll see you guys later.